М1 Global presents. Представляем ваше внимание трехраундовый супербой в легчайшем весе. Я рад участвовать в этой четверке. Это гран-при. Победитель одного боя получит уже титульный бой. Очень большая мотивация. У нас было достаточно времени для подготовки. Пять недель мы прошли хороший лагерь. Все прошло по плану. Подготовка удалась. Мы готовились очень тщательно. Я думаю, это лучшая форма Виталия за последнее время, и мы готовы ко всему, что будет в этом бою. This is my first time I fighting in Moscow. I have seven fights here. I fight in uh, different weight divisions, like 70 kilo, 66. Now this is my weight division, 61 kilo, and. Uh, Here I, I see the chance to win the M1 Challenge Championship belt. Every day two times training, so we work on his stand-up, uh, much more on his uh, condition. And I think it will be a great fight and I think he will win 100%. Сильный соперник, физически хороший борец, прямо линейный, мало арсенала в ударной технике, больше арсенала в борцовской технике. Я не думаю, что Антон Рачич выше меня по уровню. У меня тоже большой опыт за плечами, у меня есть тоже проигрыши. Эти проигрыши дали мне какой-то материал на раздумие и подкорректировать свои ошибки. Я это делаю, развиваюсь. Vitaly Branchuk, he has a great MMA record, uh, he has uh, seven wins in strike. He's a good uh, fighter, but I think I'm a better fighter of him and uh, I will do my best to win him. I think it's going to be an interesting fight, but uh, I will do my best and uh, I want to show people that I'm one of the greatest fighters in this way division in Europe. Просматривая бои Антуна, мы, конечно, обратили внимание на его борцовские аспекты, на то, как он работает в партере, и, конечно, специально готовились для того, чтобы в бою показать, что мы тоже умеем бороться. But he is very dangerous and very, very respectable opponent. Я надеюсь на то, что лагерь нашего соперника нас не дооценил, а мы приехали удивлять. Ждите хороший бескомпромиссный поединок. по прозвищу «Киллер».
Спортсмен в красном Одл Риджа представляет Украину, клуб Патриот. Встречайте, Виталий Бранчу! Песен еще не написаны. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the bantamweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 61 kilograms. He stands 166 centimeters tall and has a record of 18 wins and six losses. He is the Fila World Junior Grappling Champion. He is the final fight champion and the Knight of Gladiator champion from Gladiator Team Croatia, Anton Killer Rashi. <laughs> now, welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 61.1 kilograms. He stands. 167 centimeters tall and has a record of 20 wins with only five losses. He is a silver medalist of World Combat Sambo. He is a master of sport in Combat Sambo. From the Patriot Dream, Ukraine, Vitaly Branchok. And your referee for this bout, Viktor Koniev. Okay, you only fight three rounds to five minutes, okay? Don't hit head, back head and spine line. Don't hit elbow to head, only to the body and the legs. On the ground, hit knee and legs, only to the body and the legs. Don't touch ropes, don't touch gloves, don't touch trunks. Listen my comment all the time. If I say it's stop, it's stop. Shook your hands. Go corner. Shuck Shuck step back, one step back. George, so you're at off? So you're at off? Are you ready? Are you ready? Round one, fight! 
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to M1 Challenge 64. My name is Kareem Zidane, alongside the esteemed Ian Freeman. And this is the M1 Challenge 64 main card. First fight of the night in the blue corner, Anton Recic versus, in the red corner, Vitaly Branchuk. Well, this fight means a lot to both these guys, as does any fight, to be honest. But this is the semi-final for the Bantamweight Championship. The next bout that's coming on will be a bantamweight bout and the two winners will face each other for the title. So this means a lot to these guys. Well, this is a very significant time. And Ian, we spoke to the matchmaker earlier as well, and they said that this is very important. How they perform in this tournament will determine whether the bantamweight division is truly worth keeping at M1 and whether it's truly worth investing in truly growing the, the roster and that division of fighters. I mean, there's a lot of young fighters out there. We don't see them that often in Russia. But I mean, in this case, for example, we've got one fighter who was struggling to make uh, to make bantam weight because he's such he's quite a big featherweight and then there was another one who's more likely to be a flyweight so that's, uh, there, there comes a time where you need to include new divisions once m1 had a division up to lightweight and then they moved to featherweight and now it's about time they introduce the bantam weight yeah, of course it is i mean these, these smaller guys i actually like that action because they're constantly on the move you know they're constantly pr pressuring their opponent you know they they, they, they just move fast and they, they they also hit hard as well as we've just seen there nice overhand right by rasic so there's no reason why the Bantamweight shouldn't stay with M1. But neither guy getting the upper hand after the first minute and a half gone. Just missing with the right hand is Rasic. Oh, nice inside low kick. Well, Regis is looking good in the striking department so far. He is clearly a submission-based fighter. As 13 of his 18 wins have come by way of submission, while the remainder are all decisions. So we are yet to see a knockout on his part. But expect a lot of slick submission attempts. Vitaly, on the other hand, is actually making his promotional debut. He's on a seven-fight win streak and won the majority of those by KO. So we've almost got a classic striker grappler fight going on here. Record's quite equal, 18 and 6 for Rashid and 20 and 5 for Branchuk. So they're, they're, they're quite level, quite equal. Branchuk complains that a lot that he was generally outmatched in his fights in the sense that a lot of his opponents were much bigger and heavier than him when he was stuck fighting at featherweight. I mean, he's someone who could truly weigh in at flyweight if, if push comes to shove. So he's quite comfortable and happy to be at bantamweight. Well, Rashid's is quite happy to keep it standing. We know how good his ground is, we know how good his submissions are, but not once has he gone for a takedown. Raj is looking better shape this time as well because his first cut down to bantamweight during a test run when the, when the promotion first tried to experiment with the, with the division, he really struggled to make that weight. He looked... There's the takedown, just as we said it. We were watching for it, waiting for it, he got it. Exactly. This is exactly, this is his world right here, Raj. This is exactly where he wants to be. And he clearly has much more energy this fight to expand. As I was saying, Ian, he looked ghostly. He looked like a ghost when he was when he made when he made weight for his last fight. Not this one. He looked much better. Clearly getting a hang of this bantam weight thing now. Well, nice wizard defense there from Branchio. Nice way to get back to your feet. He'll be happy as long as he keeps that wizard. That wizard's what it's what's keeping him from going flat on the canvas. Great pressure from Rashid. Switches for a single. Oh, he grabs the ropes. I think that could have been a takedown there if it wasn't for grabbing the rope. But unfortunately, that's what happens. We've got a portion of a ring there. It's always open. Whether it's instinctive or strategic, very difficult to tell sometimes. Oh, nice takedown there from Rancho. There's one takedown each in this round. Rajic still in control, though. Ten seconds left in the opening round. Oh, he went for a sit-down takedown, missed it. 
Finishing off strong is Brancho. Both guys take a big gasp of air. Interesting opening round there. Quite close. But I think I'd have to give it for Rechich, who controlled the fight a little more throughout and more consistently. Clinching up, holding him against the cage, just controlling his opponent more generally. Of course, with a potential 10 minutes left to go in this fight, a lot can still happen. But the good thing is, they do not have to fight again tonight, although this is the semi-final, and they do face the winner of the next fight, they do not have to fight tonight, so they can give it their all. I like this modern transformation of the tournament. The Aussie one night tournaments used to be great, and it's, an, it's nostalgic for old fans. I mean, fans of the old Pride days and the old UFC certainly can be can 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 want to relive that sort of feeling and you get you get examples of that with the battleground mma one night tournament and whatnot but i prefer this 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 modern version of the tournament it's, it's more fair to be honest it is it's more it fair is. because especially if you had a, a, a really hard weight cut like we were just talking about you know to have two fights on the night sometimes three when i first started you know my first i think it was my first three competitions i had three fights on the same night you know all it takes is a little injury you know you, you can have a really tough fight in your first fight and the guy you face finished his fight in 10 seconds you, th you know it, it doesn't really make it fair i think it's um what they call sod's law you know, round two, fight! Too many variables involved in the equation. This, this certainly is a much better way to truly determine who is best to, to be deemed the inaugural bantamweight champion. Nice low kick. Brancho a little more active to start the second round than he was in the first. We're done with the feeling out process here. Oh, nice left hook. It caught him off balance more than actual power. But it still hit its mark, still counts. Well, Branchuk is countering really nicely. Every time he sees Rashi step forward, he's countering either with a kick or a, or a nice left hook. This is where he wants to be most of his wins by KO. Vicious finishes. Rashi is just swinging a little bit, needs to just slow it down. He needs to take the fight to where he's most comfortable, to be honest. Well, when I say slow down, what I mean is more speed, less haste. You know, he's just trying to trying to rush things a little bit. Oh, nicely. Try to go for a single. Well, Rashi is definitely trying to throw with power. Every shot that's coming in, it, it's a power shot. Oh, nice overhand right. I think it just clipped the mark. Well, Rashi is constantly on his back foot now. You know, there's a lot of fighters that do that. They, they fight from the back foot, but when you're not gaining any advantage of the striking, it does make you look like you're running away, and it doesn't look good on the judges' scorecards. You know, you, you have to really score with the striking when you're backing off like that. You have to counter really well, and he looks like he's eating more than he is. Counter. 
Не спеши, не спеши. Будет пробовать брос. Хорошо, хорошо. Хорошо. Putting a lot of power in a lot. Do you know what? I was exactly. Everything he's throwing is with full power. You know, he, he might be small, but he's got such a stocky physique, and you just wonder how long can he keep that up because them muscles are going to be burning that oxygen. The power will die eventually. He's getting tagged himself too. Oh, that big right hand. Nice spur. Well, she's had more turn up, but is back. And they're both back up. I'm honestly quite surprised Regis hasn't attempted a few more takedowns. Eating quite a few shots now, clean to the chin. Again, there's a power shot over the top. They will get slower. There's that takedown, beautiful. Good time too, 30 yeah, seconds nice. in the round. Excellent. Take the back, needs to get a hook in. Too late. Well, 10 seconds, you'd be quite happy to hang on. Finish the round in a strong position. You have been backing off for nearly four minutes of this fight. Round three. Well, Vanchuk doesn't even want to sit down. He's, he's buzzing. He's ready to go. Well, can you blame him? He seems to be getting the momentum shifting to his favor now. Righteous, on the other hand, has got his corner very close to him, nervously handing him advice, rubbing his arms and his legs. Sinai is getting a little bit tired. Well, like I say, with that power, them power shots he's throwing, it's bound to tie the arms out. I mean, the power shots are great if they cause damage, but they're not really causing any damage to his opponent, so, you know, it's, it's a lot of wasted energy. Give me a total, please. Not every shot has to be thrown with power. You can open things up by just getting wild, what, correctly timed shots. It's and almost like he's far too concerned with getting his first knockout win rather than truly winning yeah. his fight, whichever way is most logical. You could be right. Okay. Okay. Round three, fight! <laughs> nice solid leg kick. See the difference in striking? Branchuk, he's hitting the target, but he's, it's, it's, he's waiting to open things up. He's waiting for the arms to drop or the arms to lift up so you can work the body. There's everything. Look at that swing and a miss there by Rashish. Got him in the corner. I was going to see Adam in the corner all day. Could have. Rancho could have piled in, but maybe he's worried about the takedown. Nice break off. You know, Branchuk, it's as if he's just taking a, a stroll now. You, you, you wonder if he thinks to himself, well, I'm, I'm up on points here as long as I get through this round. You know, he's, he's definitely a lot more cautious now. While well, Rezic is still playing the same old card he's been playing since the first round and has not, still not worked in his favor. A very surprising performance. I'd assume the grappler would have been more keen to grapple at this point. 
You just never know what they've been practicing in the gym. They could have said, look, your next fight's with a striker. Let's get some more striking ability. Let's get some more sparring partners in. He may have been doing well against them. And sometimes when you've been drilling stuff like that, it just comes automatic in your next fight. And sometimes you go down the way Ronda Rousey did. Unfortunately, yes. Oh, that was a nice slip. Timed that one beautiful, Rashi. Not many of them are hitting the target, but when they do, they count. Certainly, but when you're behind on the scorecard, how much do they really count? Yeah, that's true. Again, like I said, he's, he's backing off a lot. I mean, nobody wants to stand in the pocket and trade and gives a get knocked out unless that's your style of fighting, but, you know, you're constantly back off for five minutes. It just doesn't look good. If I was judging this, I'd be like, you know, we need to see you move forward a little bit more. Well, Brent Chuk has impressed me with his performance, to be honest. He stuck to his game plan, which has worked effectively against Strajic. It's his M1 debut, and he has the potential to reach the final to challenge for the inaugural bantamweight title. I think that's an impressive debut, to be honest. Well, if the fight goes the way it is, I think he's there. He's there to the final, that's for sure. About 90 seconds to go into the tournament. Rashis needs a knockout or a submission. I'm guessing from his record, it's not going to be the knockout. You just wonder with the power that has been thrown with every shot. If that's if that was his aim in this fight, I'm going to get my first knockout. Because normally when we see in a fight, he likes to go for the takedown, likes to get it on the ground, wrestles really well. Oh, well, it's a surprise bench you're going for the takedown. Whether that was a wise thing to do, because obviously he's given Rashi's what he wants, and that's the clinch. Nice body lock, double on the hook, he gets it. Drags him to the ground, can he finish it? No. They're back up against the, the rage. Nice defense, good work, good balance. And we know how good Rashi is getting people down, so that's really good balance there by Branchuk. Certainly is. Overall, very impressive performance from Vitaly Branchuk. Five teams. And now we await the judges to render the decision. And we shall find out momentarily who's reached the final to challenge for the inaugural bantamweight title. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a split decision in favor of your winner in the red corner, Vitaly Rancho.
Виталий Бранчук, Украина! Раздельным решением судей. Наши аплодисменты Антон Рачич, Хорватия. Виталий, скажешь несколько слов? Спасибо за поддержку Украине. Мне помогали Павел Сергеевич, Миклеса Андрей. Спасибо Гроднику Артему, что приводил своих бойцов, которые помогали в подготовке. Дайте мне время, я стану лучшим бойцом М1. Спасибо. Желаем тебе удачи. Виталий Бранчок, Украина! Еще раз. Дорогие друзья, настало время представить моего англоязычного коллегу.